Hey guys, so since the release of iOS 16.1.2, Apple aimed to fix two major issues on the iPhone. If you may remember, Apple aimed to fix improved connectivity with wireless carrier was the number one thing. And the number two thing was a crash detection optimization for iPhone 14 and 14 Pro models. So of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my follow-up experience with the software nearly a week after its release. So let's just get right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software, for updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now the first thing i would like to talk about briefly is the youtube community poll this is where you guys also provide some feedback on how the software has been working for you and then i wanted to share my experience with the software so far so the question of course how is ios 16.1.2 working for you and about 3,300 votes as of right now and as you can see right here a 56 percent of you guys are having a great experience right here a 16 percent of you guys say it's okay but still some issues you also have a six percent that say straight up bad not good and and a 22% of you guys are not running the latest OS. Now, I do recommend that you guys visit these YouTube community polls and read through some of these comments. A lot of users express some of those concerns or maybe improvements. I do have to say I'm having a great experience with the software so far, so I do recommend for many users to update if you would like to do so on your latest device, on your primary device. Now, I did update my primary device to 16.1.2, or actually I downgraded. I was currently running the beta 16.2, so I downgraded after Apple releasing 16.1.2, to test the software on my primary device. And as you may remember, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, on my experience when I went to a theme park, it accidentally triggered the emergency SOS crash detection feature. And I went to the same theme park, the same roller coaster over the weekend. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably followed my story there where I shared with you guys I was getting in the same roller coasters here in Magic Kingdom Parks in Florida. And I do have to say that crash detection did not activate this time around. And now I shared a video with you guys a few months back or a few weeks back where the Apple Watch Ultra did activate emergency SOS crash detection went on a roller coaster here in Magic Kingdom Parks in Florida and it looks like that has been optimized it looks like the iPhone and the Apple Watch did not activate same roller coaster with 16.1.2 so I'm happy to report that now the next thing was improved compatibility with wireless carriers now over the weekend I also tested this it looks like network has definitely improved on the iPhone iPhone 14 Pro Max, the one that I'm using right now. So the wireless carrier compatibility looks to be improved. My networks were performing a lot better than those around me. There actually was a situation where I was actually looking at a menu at a restaurant and my loaded up and the other people around me did not load up. So maybe it's the carrier that I'm using or maybe Apple did actually optimize the experience, but it looks like it's working just fine. Here in studio, I've noticed that the connection 5G is more persistent and it's a lot better. So it looks like 16 1.2 is actually a very very good update and i highly recommend you update the battery is pretty good i have no complaints i've made it through my entire day the wireless carrier has been improved at least on my experience so far and the crash detection definitely has been optimized as i mentioned i did run a test with my main device same places same roller coasters and theme parks and as i mentioned before apple can also add maybe a toggle or an option for the crash detection feature to determine if you're at a theme park and maybe deactivate this feature by default using your location or a toggle that allows you to go into theme park mode but nonetheless it looks like apple definitely optimized the experience for crash detection on iphone 14 and 14 pro models the battery has improved and the network connectivity has definitely improved as well just a super quick update guys 16.2.1 definitely a great software to update to based on my experience so far thank you for watching guys i'd like to hear from you in those comments down below and i'll see you on the next one Peace.